They will begin Saturday morning, one minute after midnight. Good evening, I'm Christine Sorensen. And I'm Kim Gable. So how long will they last? And what specifically do those restrictions mean for business owners and our residents as well? Andy Sheehan has been following this story for us and joins us now with all the details. Andy. Well, Kim, the governor says that dire times require drastic actions, and he is implementing what he is calling targeted restrictions to last three weeks aimed at stopping the spread, uh, flattening the curve, and preventing a holiday surge in these COVID cases. The goal here is to prevent uh, the hospital systems from being overwhelmed by this latest surge and trying to flatten that curve. Now, they've abandoned the color coding of different sections of Pennsylvania, saying that no part of the state is immune to the big dramatic rise in these cases. And starting on Saturday, they will be imposing the following restrictions statewide. All extracurricular activities, including youth sports and high school sports, will be suspended. There will be no more indoor dining, takeout, and curbside pickup only. And businesses, including gyms and casinos, will be closed. That also means that museums and movie theaters will also be closed. Gatherings will be limited to 10 people indoors and 50 people outdoors. The stores will remain open, but at 50 percent capacity. Now, the governor says these restrictions are targeted to achieve three goals. I hope that we accomplish three goals. First, I want to stop the devastating spread of COVID-19. Second, I want to keep our hospitals and our health care workers from becoming overwhelmed. Uh, as Dr. DeFlish has said, we're, we're now in the ninth or tenth month of, of this pandemic. People are really tired. We're all tired. But our healthcare workers, above all, are really, really tired. And they, we want to make sure that they keep, we keep them from being overwhelmed. The third thing is to help Pennsylvanians get through the holiday season and closer to a widely available vaccine. That is the light at the end of the tunnel as safely as possible. Now, the chief concern here is preventing the health systems from being overwhelmed. And the fear is that a vibrant Christmas system, uh, a vibrant Christmas season will do just that. And so they are asking the, some of these businesses to close down and for families to stay home as much as possible. Reporting live on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.